Tomorrow will always be tomorrow until we start today. We plan all these goals. We have all these aspirations for ourselves. We know some things are good for us and things we need to stop to improve our lives. But sometimes we can fall into the habit of always putting it off to tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll start running again. Tomorrow I stop my project. Tomorrow I'll finally start. Then tomorrow comes around and the same process repeats itself. Why is it so hard to just start? literally 3 something p.m. and the sun is already setting is it morning or is it afternoon light is blinding the sunshine feels foreign on my face Sometimes we might believe that if we never do anything new, then we'll never fail. We might be afraid of the embarrassment that comes with failure or the anxiety that comes with going outside our comfort zones. Change can be uncomfortable and difficult. If we're okay now, then why change? Maybe we've already tried something and failed before, such as taking up running or eating more healthily. So why should we try it again now that we have evidence that we've already failed? In other circumstances, we might be feel overwhelmed with all the tasks and things piling up in our lives already work, school, personal life, you don't even have time to sleep, much less add more tasks on top of everything. Speaking of sleep, no matter who you are, we can all agree that sleep is extremely important. Sleep can regulate your emotions, your appetite control, your immune system, and your metabolism. You're supposed to spend a third of your life on your bed, so might as well invest in a good mattress. So I want to thank Birch Living for sponsoring today's video. Birch Living is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses and other sleeping products that are stylish, comfortable, and environmentally conscious. Their non-toxic mattresses are made right here in the US and are crafted with organic and natural materials that are sustainably sourced. It was important for me to choose a birch mattress that was made with organic and natural materials because for me sometimes it's very difficult to regulate my body temperature, my feet get really hot and organic materials help to keep me cool and regulate my body temperature. In addition to being a better mattress for me, Birch Living is also committed to be better for the environment as well. I love that my mattress isn't releasing dangerous emissions into the air as it is guaranteed free of any harmful chemicals. So I ordered the Birch Lux mattress, which is their premium mattress, and it's an upgrade to their original well-loved Birch natural mattress. I've had my mattress since I've moved in here for a couple of months now, and what I like most about it is not only having an environmentally friendly and non-toxic mattress, but also I fall asleep so quickly on this thing. It's just the right texture and firmness that I like. With your Birch mattress, you get a 100-day night sleep trial as well as a 25-year warranty. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you've never tried, you get over three months to try it out. And if you don't like it, they'll pick it up and give you a full refund. The best part of this is that Birch Living will deliver your mattress straight to your door for free anywhere in the U.S. It comes rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set up yourself. Each mattress also comes with two of the Eco Rest pillows for free, which is made from recycled bottles. They're breathable and better for the environment. I love my Birch Lux mattress and I think you guys would too. So if you're looking for a new mattress, check out Birch. You can go to www.birchliving.com slash RebeccaJ or use my code RebeccaJ to get $400 off your new mattress plus two free pillows. Other times, it can feel like we greatly overestimate the difficulty of a certain thing that we need to do. For example, I always find washing sheets and putting them back on such a difficult task. At least that's how I feel like it in my brain before I need to do it. Sometimes when I wear shorts like this to the gym, I feel self-conscious. So I'm going to wear my soccer shorts over it. <laughs> Lovely feeling. Let's go.
I used to dread every time the weekend was approaching and I had to wash my sheets. However, right after it was done, I noticed that it was much more difficult in my brain than in reality. I think that this situation applies to many things. In fact, the mental energy that it takes just having something in the back of my head for a long period of time is way more bothersome than just doing the task itself. You know when we complete a chore that we've been putting off for months and months and in the end it takes like 10 minutes and yet we continue doing this behavior with other tasks and things in our lives. We might procrastinate and procrastinate because other things are just innately more rewarding and quicker at the time. Starting anything new is hard whether that be in your academics, personal life, professional career or health. You can always plan or think about doing things but ultimately it's the action that will improve your life. And it's not the caffeine At least I don't think so I guess it could be though But it doesn't matter either way Cause I'd still say something stupid like What would you do if I stayed? But just like the summer days, baby Live life more deliberately. I don't want life to just happen to me, but I want to make things happen in my life. You're in charge of your own destiny, or at least we need to believe it. Julian Rotter, a psychologist, created a concept called the locus of control in 1954. She was interested in why some behaviors stick and others languish. In the end, our lives are a series of actions and outcomes. We place these outcomes either externally or internally. External locus of control means that we chalk up the results of our actions due to luck or fate, which will diminish the behavior because why should we continue if the outcome is outside of our control anyways? Shower done. I'm going to cook dinner now. I'm going to make this smoked salmon egg fried rice thing that I made up one day and turns out it tasted really good. An internal locus of control means that we believe that we're in control of our outcomes, which will lead to a reinforcement of the behavior and the behavior will continue. We have to believe we can do it, which leads to self-efficacy theory, a concept proposed by Albert Bandura in 2010. This is a measure of how capable a person feels about achieving their goals. He showed that no matter how talented a person is, if they don't believe that they're capable, then this negative self-belief can have a huge outcome on their ability to succeed. Sometimes we can know that outcomes are in our control, such as building muscle, but we don't believe that we're capable of achieving this goal, like actually going to the gym and and creating a workout plan for ourselves so we want to hack our brains think that we're in control of our outcomes and believe that we can do it even if we might not actually feel it Firstly, identify exactly what our goal is and break it down into small, manageable goals. It can sometimes get overwhelming to think of huge changes. For example, if you want to go to the gym and run for 30 minutes, just tell yourself to put on your workout clothes and go on the treadmill to walk for two minutes. This way, it will encourage you to just start. Live life more deliberately. Don't just go through the motions of everyday life and hope that things will come to us. Don't just mindlessly do actions and complete tasks. Think about exactly what you're doing, why you're doing it, and what you want to get out of it. Number three, acknowledge your potential. You are ultimately your best investment. You are the store of your value. You're the most valuable asset. Warren Buffett said that by far the best investment you can make is in yourself, which sounds cliche but it's true and holds a deeper meaning than just trying to improve. We often underestimate ourselves and our own worth. We give ourselves way less credit than we deserve. This makes us believe that we don't have as much potential as we actually do. We need to look back at the past and realize how far we've come. Just like an undervalued stock in the stock market that has the ability to go to the moon, we want to invest in ourselves and keep it in the long run. We want to continue 
investing ourselves even in the down periods of our lives and much like the stock market there isn't really a right time to start so just start now sometimes self-improvement in our society values quick and efficient changes but in the end slow and steady wins the race just how conf confucius said just how confucius just how confucius said that it does not matter how slow you go as long as you do not stop number four have a goal right when you wake up for me, this is extremely important in order to get my day jump started and create momentum for the rest of the day. Practice gratitude and reflect. This might sound stupid to some people, but every time I see the angel number 1111 on the clock, I take the one minute to reflect on things that I'm grateful for, that I might have been taking for granted. Things that you might not think of or feel stupid. For example, you know when you're sick and your nose is stuffy and you can only breathe it out of your mouth and then your throat is all dry? Yes, things like that. But also things that you might have been manifesting or praying for. Anything really, and it really helps me to carry on throughout the day and it's a sign that I'm going on the right path. Tidy and declutter. Sometimes decluttering something will literally just take one minute. Throw out the garbage, put the clothes into the laundry basket, hang up that sweater, and make your bed. Having a tidy environment makes for a tidy mind and will make cleaning much more easier if you keep out if you keep up with it throughout the days and the week. Number three, write down to-do list. Even if you don't know what to do, where are you going to start? Writing out a to-do list makes things easier to get organized and you know exactly what to do at what time. Number four, block out negative people and bad influences. It takes less than a minute to completely cut out a bad person in your life on social media. Maybe it's accounts that make you feel bad about yourself or toxic people who always talk behind your back. Instead, spend your energy and fill your life with positive influences and good friends where you can feed off of each other. Number five, think before taking action, speak or responding. For example, before mindlessly reaching out to drink that can of soda, think about whether you really want it. You know it's not good for you and the little bit of resistance can help you reach for a glass of water instead. In other situations, you might not be able to control what others say or do to you, but you can control your response. If someone says something negative, think before if you really want to say something negative back to them. Maybe instead, spend your energy focused on yourself and improving yourself rather than stooping down to their level. In other situations, you want to truly understand what you've been told. Sometimes we can immediately jump into our defense mechanisms or hear what we want to hear instead of what they're actually saying. Seek first to understand, then to be understood. Obviously, everything is easier said than done, and there's also the common habits such as exercise, journaling, sleep, and water, eating fruits, etc. In the end, the first step towards getting somewhere is to decide you're not going to stay where you are. It's never too late to become who you want to be, so don't wait, just start. Watch. 
yourself too seriously. I, 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 I'm fine. You kill me when I'm wrong, and you kill me when I'm right. But you know it wouldn't kill you if you tried to be nice. Stop making me choose between you and Fortnite. Now I'm telling you, I'm telling you. You take yourself too seriously. Yourself too seriously. I, 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 I'm fine. You're the drink, the capsule in the bottle, the damsel in the dress. You come to save me from distress. Stay the week, distract me from my problems. The war inside my head, make me forget I'm such a mess. <laughs>